Thank the council for allowing me to come present the uh, government buildings. And I want to recognize my assistant, Mr. Kevin Robichaud, sitting back there. He didn't want to come up here. Uh, what this report is going to provide you with is an update of work that has been performed since last May through uh, this April of 2017, and also uh, uh, to provide you an update on projects that we do have ongoing right now. Um, as I've told you in the past, we, we maintain a lot of buildings. We maintain 28 buildings in the parish, and uh, we're also responsible for cutting grass on about 36 acres of land. Um, we do all our work through work orders. Uh, we completed 1,220 last year, but we also had an additional probably three or 400 that where we didn't get work orders. One of our most important tasks is uh, every week we test the backup generators in different buildings throughout the parish. We don't do load tests on them. We just crank them up and make sure that, they, that the uh, motors do, uh, do start. Um, we work with procurement on the uh, online auction uh, that we, uh, for surplus equipment. Uh, we also assist other departments in different uh, events throughout the year. Uh, recreation, EOC, we help with ribbon cuttings, the Veterans Day and Senior Citizen Luncheons, uh, and different other events. Uh, this is a pictorial of uh, the Christmas tree at the community center. That's just to show you that we did do the decorating at the community center. And the, one, the, the tents on the side, that was for the uh, trash bash. Uh, we supplied the tents, the tables, and chairs. Um, projects has been completed in the past year. We replaced the roof on the Otterbury building in uh, New Sarpy. We re re relocated uh, several uh, departments in the administration uh, from outside the building to the uh, courthouse. And we also tore down our old office in the back of the courthouse, and we moved across the street to where uh, economic development used to be. Uh, another completed project is the uh, planning and zoning standby generator. Uh, planning and zoning was considered an essential uh, function in uh, building after a disaster, so that was funded by a FEMA grant. Um, different projects that we have in progress now is uh, we're getting ready to uh, go out for bids on uh, remediation work for, I'm calling it the government building's warehouse now, not the old Marez garage. Uh, we uh, replaced several uh, obsolete HVAC systems in the parish in different buildings. Uh, in fact, most of these are complete. The only one that's outstanding is the one in planning and zoning, and they should start that building probably within the next week or so. Uh, projects in progress is the, uh, the big building in the back where the uh, district attorney's office is going to be. Um, plan projects, and this, in, this first one here in just for 2018, this is probably going to be a five to seven year project, but I want to introduce the council to it because it is a problem that we're going to be facing in the next few years. It's replacing very obsolete equipment in this courthouse, air conditioning equipment. Uh, the air handlers have been here since the building was occupied in probably 1977, about 40 years. Chillers have a life expectancy of about 20 years. Um, the building was occupied in 77. The chillers we have now were uh, placed in service in 1997, which is about 20 years. And we're at that point again, and all of the uh, oil samples that we're taking now, there's more and more metal uh, being uh, found in the, in the oil. Uh, we're looking at uh, changing from pneumatic controls for the uh, ACs and the HVAC equipment and go to uh, electronic and digital. We have a dual duct system in the courthouse, which is a very old technology. It's probably about two generations ago where you, depending on what, what temperature you want the rum, you either dump more hot air than cold air or vice versa. Um, other plan projects is the, uh, we're going to relocate the DA's office into the new building once it's completed, which is going to be around in September sometime. 
Uh, we're going to uh, do some renovations in the uh, government buildings warehouse. Uh, we're going to replace in 2018. We're going to start replacing more uh, obsolete HVAC equipment in different buildings in the parish, and we're going to start looking at doing uh, at designing something for second floor renovations in the courthouse once the uh, DA is out and the judges and the, and their staff need to relocate into the new uh, into where the DA is at now. Uh, I want to thank y'all for allowing me to make this presentation. Um, I hope you don't have any questions, but if you do, I'll be glad to answer them. <laughs>